Just Chanel here. Hey guys, it's Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. So today's video is a day in the life vlog. I am actually on the way to work right now or just pulled up at work nanny life this morning can't wait to take you along during today uh, i need to cook i have pilates later we're gonna go to trader joe's i need to go um look at some cars like look at some interiors of cars to make sure that i'm like building this car that i want correctly I, I feel like i have another job oh and then of course we have to go to the warehouse i'm like i feel like i have another job anyway can't wait for you guys to see what all is in the vlog because it's a pretty busy day if you're new here my name is chanel and i create lifestyle videos as a full-time flight attendant entrepreneur and content creator we're all about a quality life over here i'm actually going to make my tea as soon as i get in the house um, to pick the kids up for school i'll be drinking love thy liver so definitely let me know if you're drinking tea while you watch this video what you're sipping on down in the comments and if you have not tried out quality yet girl run over to the website okay free shipping check the code down in the description box so that you can get free shipping and order your teas iced tea hot tea detox teas energizing teas relaxation teas we got all the tea we pushing tea over here <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get into the video <laughs> So this month, the month of March, I'm not eating out um, as because I just feel like I've been rushing to eat. Like I haven't really cooked that much uh, just this year and I really want to eat healthier. Um, I, I prefer fork and knife meals, not just like handheld burritos and tacos and chicken sandwiches uh subs like it's a lot of bread and it's not enough for vegetables so i am not eating out this month however that doesn't include beverages <laughs> so oh and also birthdays because i do have a few birthdays so i'm um at starbucks right now i'm getting a matcha latte because i'm educating myself on matcha a little bit more this uh, month just like benefits um origins the differences between like all the different matchas of course we do have quality matcha it's not something that i drink often because matcha has a lot of caffeine but something i learned just from placing this order is um starbucks uses a pre-made like matcha mix so people probably like it because it's more like on the artificial side but i want to I want to taste what their matcha latte is like um, and then create a recipe with quality matcha that's comparable um, but just a better quality so that's what I'm doing I also <laughs> ordered egg the egg white bites because I saw a Instagram uh, like chef make the egg white bites on um, like in a reel and they said they're really good but i guess the starbucks version has like 20 ingredients whereas if you make them at home you can make them with like five ingredients so i just wanted to give them a taste to see why people like them so much i always forget to do this i always forget to reload y'all this is such a bad habit i'd be like rushing at the window hold on all right i got a grande i oh thank you thank you you too. All right, I got a grande um, iced matcha with made with oat milk, one pump of sugar-free vanilla, and one pump of toffee nut syrup. I want a hazelnut because I really want to create a recipe that's like golden hazelnut, my golden hazelnut tea and matcha uh, together. But I don't think they have hazelnut anymore or something. I don't know. Uh, wow, these egg white bite things. 
they smell really good the thing is i have no idea what kind of egg white bites that i get because i noticed they had three on them menu but they didn't actually ask me which ones i wanted and i didn't specify let's try uh oh they got new straws what's up let's try this iced matcha situation it it looks clumpy like you can tell it's not like even the bottom y'all see how dark that is it's not um completely dissolved and then I wonder how much matcha, like how much caffeine is in this because wow. Mm. Whoa. Oh, that is not good. Y'all drink this? <laughs> Whoa. Y'all, it tastes like earth. And like, it tastes like earth and sugar. Like if you were to mix dirt and sugar together, that's what it tastes like. And I've had quality matcha before, boo. It's very sweet. Okay, so it's not. I I do like healthy tasting. Oh, I forgot to get I like consuming things that taste healthy, but it's more like a dessert. It's almost like matcha ice cream melted over ice. It's thick too. Oops. Interesting. Let me know what y'all think if you've tried it. And then these egg white bites. Ew, these look disgusting. <laughs> Why do they look like this? They look weird. They smell great. I don't know what kind. Egg white bites. All right, let's try. Mm, I'm not really excited. I don't even like eggs like that. But it like smells good, but then it smells eggy. If you have the Sony vlog camera, oh my gosh, it's hard to open, okay. You know that the battery life is horrible, so I'm gonna charge these batteries while I'm at home before I go out again. That way the vlog camera doesn't die. I purchased this off of Amazon. Uh, this is actually my second time purchasing. I left all of my batteries in a TSA bin, unknowingly. Uh, so I had to repurchase this um, little backup battery kit. It's trash. Anyway, let's watch a little bit of Fresh Prince, that new Fresh Prince. And I'm going to get some work done. Um, probably do like a little bit of email marketing for today and tomorrow. Oh, I need to finalize the ads for this month, like our Facebook ads and whatnot. So just gonna chill on the couch for a second. All right, spring is right around the corner. So we are clearing out inventory, free gifts with your purchase. And today I'm offering free shipping. So here's the email I'm sending out. Uh, I literally went through the warehouse yesterday. So free samples with every order, but also free mantra bracelets, uh, free freshness jars, and free tea makers. These are things that we wanna get rid of before we bring all the spring inventory in. So definitely check the uh, description box so you guys can shop with free shipping as well. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and send this. To the folks, this is what the mobile version looks like. Real cute, love it. Here's my home office that I'm still trying to figure out what to do with. The I really want a floating desk in the closet for my um, desktop or like a floating shelf. We're gonna get this room together uh, this month and I'm decided on this wallpaper for the wall here. Probably add a sofa or accent chairs or whatever, but here are a couple of the free items. So this is the tea maker, which I found a few of these here. And then also at the warehouse, uh, we have a few spring mugs that you guys have loved in the past. So that's a free item as well. And then we have some items over here. Um, those are a couple fresh of jars, but there's some more at the warehouse. And then all this jewelry I'm giving away. So we have quite a few mantra bracelets, which say my cup overflows, uh, a few necklaces as well. And then there's also some brand books, some spring brand books from last year. So I'll be including these in order so y'all can see um, some of the spring blends that'll come back this year as well. That's what's going on. I actually am gonna package an order from here because someone ordered 
a necklace. We are going to go ahead and take care of that and then I'm gonna head out of here and go to Pilates. All right, I'm excited! Excuse me. I'm just gonna take, oh, let me put this sunscreen on. The sun been heating, okay? The spring is coming, so I realized the last couple of days I didn't put, I usually don't put, uh, like do my full skincare routine till I come back from dropping the kids off. But I need to start doing it like first thing in the morning when I wake up really early cause the sun on the way to school be coming through that core girl. And I ain't trying to get no, uh, I ain't trying to get burnt, get all messed up by them UV rays or whatever. Okay, so I have washed or wet my hair in the shower this morning and rebraided it because last night I didn't braid it before I went to bed so I'm just gonna let this out I kind of feel like sh maybe I should maybe I should do my P actually Pilates with the braids on my head maybe no I think I'm gonna leave them in I think I actually don't mind this style and yeah let me just get a bobby pin and leave them in and then before I run errands and go to the car dealership and whatnot, I will take them out. So I'm gonna bring my pick with me right here. And the sunscreen that I use is the Tula. I use this one and Super Goop. It just kind of depends on the day. I like using this one because I think it's a like on a daily basis because it's a little cheaper, I think. And I use sun, uh, Super Goop when I'm out of town. I think, I, I think it's just a few dollars less. And also, I know this one is like more accessible. I can go to Ulta and just pick this up, which is not too far from where I am. Um, there's one in the city, whereas Super Goop, I like to order online because I order like a bunch at one time. But, oh, ow, let's get out of here. I'm excited. I mean, I'm nervous, but excited. <laughs> I know the lighting's a little weird, but that was intense. Like, so this class I just took, so it's basically like elevated Pilates. And I did the core class, which is a 30 minutes class. So it's like express, it's quick. It's like an advanced class, which I didn't know because I just signed up with a friend. But I'm so glad that I took that class instead of like their basic 50 minute class because I feel like I was able to really get a feel for what solid core is all about. Um, I have I have never sweat this much in my life, like especially in 30 minutes. And what I really enjoyed about the class, like I wasn't able to vlog, I didn't even bring my camera in. Um, and literally it's just, you're on this, those machines that you guys saw, it's like a slow burn and so good. And I like that it doesn't make my heart beat fast. So you're, you feel everything, like you know your muscles are working out, right? Um, but your heart rate is not like beating out of your chest like when you're doing cardio. Um, it just, I really enjoyed it because I like to dance, but with my iron sometimes, like my anemia sometimes, when my heart beats too fast, like it, it kind of gives me flashbacks of when like my iron is low um, because a lot of the times like when my iron is low my heart is working overtime and I like lose hearing and eyesight and like kind of you know things will go blurry and whatnot so I really like this because it was slow and controlled but works like oh, I cannot believe it like I literally had it's windy outside so all the sweat's kind of gone but I literally had like sweat dripping from my nose in the class <laughs> I do not sweat a lot so even when I work out like cardio weights all of that I don't really sweat you know and this was good and I'm not a fan of classes either I don't really like taking classes I don't work, like working out with people um, but I the class was small I think it was like 11 people and you're like all on those machines that you guys saw and it was just like everybody was it was an advanced class so a lot of them like knew what they were doing but um, you know they all like welcomed me which was nice because obviously it's my first time and yeah I'm, I'm gonna do it again probably get a membership so y'all will see this in the vlogs again and I'll get there early enough as well in the future to um, actually vlog the process like set the camera up and kind of show you guys what it's like but that was really great that was like it's just like a amazing stretch like an intense good stretch 
I feel like I just killed this whole week from this one 30 minute class. <laughs> okay, let's go to Target, Trader Joe's, and then the car dealership before we get the kid. Always sold out a honey pot. Okay, I'll get some wipes, but dang, I mean, it's all gone. All right, got everything I need. I'm gonna order the rest of what I need online. Let's get out of here. I'm getting things done today. At Trader Joe's, I'm gonna grab a quick something for lunch, something to drink. I think I want like a chicken wrap or something. I think I'm gonna get. Oh, and ooh, this Caesar salad kind of looks good, actually. Um, I think I want this buffalo chicken wrap. Kind of down with doing us something a little spicy. For dinner, I'm gonna make shrimp crab cakes and I think some air fried wings. Okay. The buffalo chicken wrap, it was really good actually. It's spicy, but lots of flavor. Um, I also got this Southwest um, salad from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna try that out with some shrimp that I make this evening for the kids. And a coconut water. Uh, the coconut water was only $2 and it tastes amazing. It's like the same quality as that one expensive coconut water brand. Wow, the sun is hitting, girl. I feel so good today, so energized, and I think going and working out help. Like, if I had time, I would literally go to the gym. Like, I feel like running. That's how good I feel today. Anyway, headed home to take a shower. I picked up the kids from school, dropped them at practice, so they'll be there for a while. I am going to shower, get some work done from home. Um, I need to answer emails and stuff, and then I... Oh, I have to work on some things for savory as well. Need to call my dentist. Um, I'm gonna try to cook dinner on the earlier side today, like before they're done at practice. So as soon as we get home, the food is ready. Oh, and then I have to go to the warehouse and fulfill some orders. Um, I wanna drop off like all the free gifts that I'm giving away with orders for today. And I think, oh, and I need to refill the tea station at the office as well. That's something like I have to do but I figured I should shower first because I just been running errands and whatnot and I kind of want to put on something kind of cute. We'll see. Dang, why did I go this way? I should have turned. So, finally know what car I want. Um, I've been kind of going back and forth because I originally was going to get a vehicle that kind of like fit my lifestyle right now, but I think I want to, well, I'm definitely going to get something that I can grow into just because yeah, I always end up getting things that are like for the right now and then within six months, I'm like blossoming out here. Okay, flourishing. <laughs> so I'm, like, I'm gonna get something a little bit bigger. Um, the only thing is because of the pandemic, y'all like cars and parts and all is still back ordered. Like everything is back ordered. So I've been working with the same sales guy for a while. Um, I have like friends that have purchased cars and stuff with them and super sweet. So he's like, he thinks I should wait to order the car. I'm like, bruh, I already been waiting. <laughs> so he's like, <coughs> excuse me. He thinks I should actually, based on some of the features that I want and the model vehicle that I want, he recommends that I wait about six months. Um, 
and then at that point reevaluate uh, what is available because right now like some of the um, the features and add-ons that I want will for sure not be available until August so he's like we can kind of reevaluate it a little bit before then and then if it's still on track to get here in August he's like you should just get a 2023 because there's no like if they're gonna start um, production on the vehicles in August the new cars drop in September so it's no point of getting the 2022 if the 2023s are gonna arrive at the same time as the car I'm building so that's that now in the meantime I don't know <laughs> I drive so much I've been using $25 a day in gas and yeah i need something that's like reliable like great on gas mileage super reliable um and so i think i'm just gonna go back to renting cars like i thought about maybe buying something on the smaller side um like just some oh not the not the red light <laughs> yeah i i considered purchasing like a starter like beginner car as just like an everyday vehicle but I'm just like, do I want, you know, $25,000 in debt when I'm going to end up getting a car in six months anyway? Or do I just want to kind of like dish out a few thousand dollars? I get a really good corporate rate. So a few thousand dollars for a rental car for like the next few months and be able to switch my cars and all that. Hmm. And also don't have to worry about putting mileage on a car that I actually own, you know? So, I have some decisions to make, but I am happy to know that exactly how I want my car built, it's possible because for a while, my sales guy was saying that like some of the things I was wanting is like mixing too many vehicles together and I wouldn't be able to get it, but now he's like, no, you can definitely get things like a third row. I really want a third row. Now, why I want a third row, you would think I got a family of 10. But I'm trying to take a tea tour. <laughs> I'm trying to road trips. Oh, and another thing, I, I know a lot of people, I don't know, some of you guys are new here. So anyway, I am a homebody, so I really don't drive that much, but I recently started nanning again. So that's why the whole like car pressure is kind of back on. In addition to that, um, this is a great business decision. So 2022 is the last year that you can write off your car. And the great thing is that I think there used to be a cap on like how the purchase amount of your car and how much you could write it off uh, or how much you could you can write off this year and I think last year too you can write off the full purchase amount of your car as long as it's over a certain weight so of course I'm gonna make sure I get a car over that weight and it doesn't I believe it doesn't affect your income um, but the last time I had a business review like a quarterly business review uh, my tax professional accountant we talked about this and she's like yeah you need to do this like as soon as possible uh, go ahead and like really get the vehicle that you want um, finance it opposed to leasing it and that way you know it's it's like you were literally it, it just makes sense for a business owner and also <laughs> I get a really good discount. <laughs> um, I get actually like a really good discount because I've referred quite a few people and whatnot. So um, I'm excited. It's just going to be a minute. So thank y'all for riding with me. Hopefully that was a good update. Let's get back to work. Okay. I've been on the phone and didn't really show y'all this process, but I literally put that uh, shirt stamping that was... Whoa. Didn't realize there was so much steam. Let me wipe you down. Wipe you down. Okay. I literally put the uh, shrimp in a pot with some olive oil. I added the noodles directly in the pot. Just added some of my essential seasoning. You already know that good old savory bim. And some red pepper flakes. And I'm just letting the pasta cook. I'm going to add in a splash of heavy whipping cream. And then some of this. Oh, this is feta. I thought that this was goat cheese i'm adding it in anyway i'm just literally putting everything in here hopefully it comes out good i mean the kids they'll pretty much eat anything that i make so <laughs> i'm gonna taste it though make sure it ain't too bad <laughs> i 
I am back home. Um, finished cooking dinner. I did make a few other items like crab cakes. They were really pre-made. But those crab cakes and then some Brussels sprouts in the air fryer. Um, for some reason, I've made Brussels sprouts in the air fryer before. At least I thought I did. But they didn't come out as like sticky, ooey gooey like I like them. Like I use a soy uh, like hot honey sauce. But maybe, maybe I usually do it in the cast iron skillet. Either way. <laughs> I ate a lot <laughs> and that pasta is really good. So I'll uh, do the full recipe probably in a cook with me or like a, what I eat in a week or something. But I have about 20 minutes before we start um, tea time. Uh, this Zoom meetup that I'm hosting every single uh, morning and night. And so this is the 9 p.m. session that's coming up. And today we are discussing, well, this week we're um, talking about the fruitage of the spirit, Galatians 5, 22 through 23. Today we are uh, discussing peace and patience. And I have quite a few things to share about peace because my therapy, I had a therapy session not too long ago where we uh, spoke, talked about peace and chaos and how uh peace is you fought like you're able to maintain your peace in the midst of chaos so i'm gonna read what peace is i'm using my she reads truth the fruit of the spirit uh, bible study book here but this book says peace is wholeness harmony it's rightness restoration to the way things ought to be peace is maintained peace is something that is exercised and true peace is maintained even in the midst of chaos but what's important something that my therapist said to me is we have to make sure that as we are on this search for peace we are not and also maintaining peace we're not stirring the pot and making things chaotic for ourselves um, because a lot of the times when we go on a search for peace um, or we say like so-and-so is disturbing my peace, it's because we've allowed that to happen. Um, there are probably signs or decisions we made, a lack of discipline. I should be writing this down. <laughs> uh, that came way before our peace was actually disrupted. You know what I mean? So... We need to take accountability for our actions and how we almost self-sabotage and disrupt our peace. Because really, peace is something that it's a self thing. You know, the whole point of peace is that someone else shouldn't be able to disrupt your peace because it's within you. You know, it's not something that really can be sh shaken. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I have some key verses that I will share with you guys. I keep wanting to say on the live, but this is a content video, it's a vlog. Anyway, the key verse for peace is Philippians 4, 7. It says, in the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Um, during the tea time, I like to go in the study Bible and um, really kind of give a breakdown of our key verses. And then there's other verses that I share as well. But if you're interested in joining Tea Time, the morning or the night session, um, you can definitely uh, sign up on my website, shopquality.com, and you will receive a gift card that's equivalent to the purchase price. Uh, you're, bas you're essentially purchasing a gift card in order to buy the tea for the tea time session um you'll get the zoom link and password and everything and then it's very open it's intimate um it's not like a live stream or a regular content video like i don't you don't have to be on mute you can you know be on video or not but i like to really talk about whatever topic we're discussing uh of course there's reflection questions and there's also a prayer prompt in this book and then today we're going to discuss patience as well, which the definition of patience here is steadfastness, bearing burdens and tri trials. So really that endurance and patience. Um, mm -hmm. Ecclesiastes 7, 8 is the key verse. A patient spirit is better than a proud spirit. Pretty simple. Pretty simple there. And I will give you all the prayer prompt for patience because... We can all use some patience. One of my subscribers, uh, the first day we started our study, 
I, we went through all of the fruits of the spirit, just kind of talking about them. Um, that way we know what the basis of this tea time for this week is. And she mentions that a lot of the times her outward um, actions are patient, but she realizes that patience is something she has to work on because her inner thoughts are not patient. And I thought that was so good because when you're really uh, focused on self-development or personal development, you have to make sure that your mind is right. So even like you can't say that you're truly patient if although you may let the car cut in front of you in traffic, you're cursing them out in your head. <laughs> um, you got it. You have to work on things like the fruits of the spirit to where your mindset is embracing and growing these fruits. Like you are literally producing and cultivating these fruits, uh, inner and outer, right? So that, I just thought that was a good point. Okay, prayer prompt for patience. God, thank you for how you're already making me more like you. That's the statement that we're, that's actually like the prayer prompt. And this is a prayer that we're praying every single day. And then please continue to cultivate patience in my life. So that is what we're discussing in tea time today. I'm going to make my tea, um, get my study Bible ready, and I will go live on the Zoom shortly. And I'll let y'all know how it went. Crazy, but now we are in business. I printed one stack over there sitting on the desk, and we're on round two. All right, y'all, all of the orders are out. <sighs> Let's keep it going. Gotta get the kids, do tea time at 9 p.m. Um, uh, trying to think what else. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm tired. 